and punish them accordingly. That said, though, these guys seem to be spending their dosh, so it's a good thing we have Busy by our side. Decent money over there in Aquitaine. Decent money over there as well. He's ambitious, so he's hard to get. Ambitious people are very hard to throw into prison. But this... this no, wrong, wrong chappy. Right, you should be easy enough to grab, if we can befriend you, that is. Ah, yeah, we're good at this. Why is it? Our diplomacy... Okay, comely, reveler, stubborn, honest. And my level of devotion seems to be helping, even though he's a different faith. Handy. Very handy. Okay, I also have some renown that I could spend on a opening legacy here. Popular opinion... None of these really speak to me. This doesn't speak to me either. Like, what a... W okay, fewer complications during pregnancy, but still. Convergent blood is where it's at. I just... I, I would love to be convinced of the merits of other things to do there, but it's not coming to me. Right, should be using all this dosh to... Ooh, right, this one's rented out, isn't it? Let's do some upgrades in my uh, my lands here. I'd really like to upgrade my own main place, but I don't have the tech for any of that. Uh, this could be a very important castle down the line, but I can't upgrade it, sadly. I could, however, expand the hill fort. That extra fort level could be useful. Same for here. This seemed to be a magnet for trouble, but you're already level 5. Get those hill forts erected. Could save us. The top row at least doesn't feel useless, but blood is just so good. It is so good because so much of the game is dealing with uh, dealing with the eugenics. At least to me, it is. You call that? Oh, he's he's paying me every last penny he has. Oh, all right. I'm not made of stone. By the way, I'm no longer getting a warning that I'm going to lose... Oh, well, there's Moldavia. Still going to be lost. Knowledge within grasp. Well, we can keep doing this. This is... I already have learning study. But, I'll take it anyway. Loving all these insights. I'm not sure if I actually want anything else on Diplomat. Thoughtful would be good, but I think once I grab that, I'm going to go Intrigue, so I can actually do some Intriguing. Then again, this... Oh, God, right? We have... I can't believe it. Olwyn's was so inept. When he first came to the throne, he was just rubbish. But we've actually turned him into a pretty great ruler. That's a lot of learning. And that's a whole lot of diplomacy. I mean, sure, there's better, but this is doing well for us. why don't you take groomed to rule? Yeah, it would make our kids a whole lot better. But the way I see it is only one of your kids are going to be the ones that you play as. So you're going to get one to three extra points on one kid. Or one person, rather. That doesn't strike me as all that worthwhile, really. I'd rather have thoughtful because sending money is a really good and easy way to get people to like you. Very vital for certain things. Right, Kazaria. I was thinking about taking you down, but I let a lot of time pass, and now those mercs of mine, uh, I don't have a lot of time left with them. Hmm. My thought was to take over Zaprosia and thunk down a... Hold on, now I can marry into you to make an alliance with the busies. And then I could probably call in the busies to help me with uh, Kazaria, but good lord, you're weakened a lot. That's quite funny to me. Holy war for that kingdom. But it's a holy war, so other Taltoists might join in. Mm, I don't think they will. And I am kind of tempted to set up my own little Vladdy kingdom over there. Problem is, they'd probably just explode themselves, but if nothing else, I'd have a kingdom. 
It's just a pretty big and expensive fight. Your character has the 14,000 gold and still wears a bronze pot on his head. <laughs> oh, where's the barber, actually? Wasn't there one for a barber? Go to capital, line oh, lineage. Well, at least you're not as chunky as Big Barb and Falk. Right click on yourself, Jake. Barber shop, thank you. It's kind of amazing that a Paradox game would have something like this. He'd just be taking the, the mick with that. <laughs> Stupid hat there. Whatever, he should let his let his hair be free. Oh, we can change your hair colour? I quite like white, so I'm gonna keep it there. Finally, must have smelt awful under there for all these decades. Okay, Kazaria, am I seriously gonna take you down? Maybe I should seriously get myself a marriage with you. If I just send off some relatively useless daughter. Oh god, they're all geniuses. I don't want to give away any of my geniuses. I can give away my son, Portal Storm. None of these net an alliance, though. I'd need to, uh, need to send away a daughter, then. Pizza Rific wasn't so great, and she's infertile. Uh, there we go. And if you get it on with a less scaly individual, then we can enjoy an alliance with the busies. An alliance should save him during the dying civil wars. As long as we stay allied, he's not going to attack me, and that's my big problem, just constantly getting harassed by the busies. Oh, but he won't accept that. He does not want an alliance. And they're marrying down. And he has a low opinion of me. Well, no, it's pretty high. It's just not high enough. What if he was my friend? That might change things. I'm not sure friendship helps with marriage acceptance, though. <laughs> not getting you any cheap gift. Don't want to come on too strong here. Maybe because he still has all those claims on you. Oh, Christ. He only gave up his claim on uh, the Kingdom of Wallachia. But on the plus side, they're unpressed, so when he dies, and he will someday die, uh, and the prince takes over, he will not have those claims. Of course, they'll have the Ewer rights to the Byzantine Empire, but not a lot I can do about that. Oh, Portal Storm! Typhus is on its way. Today I was given grave news. Future is uncertain, death lingers closely. He might survive, only Sud knows. The physician wants to know how my son should be treated. Hmm. Do what you must. Ooh. Oh god, he doesn't look so good. <laughs> he might go a little poor. I think he might manage it. Yeah, we got a ghoul for a son. Well, I think he's going to go full ghoul soon. What about befriending for witch conversion? As soon as I've befriended this good chap, I shall... Uh, of course, it's House Vlad. House Vlad grows faster than I can witch it up, doesn't it? I think I'll befriend uh, Basilius and then try to witch him up. My god, he actually survived. Not quite a ghoul anymore. Probably lost a bit of weight, but maybe that's for the better. Okay, my son and my ward. Another one with patient. Diligent is good, though. I'm unlikely to be you, but I'll uh, put a bit of stress into diligence there. Typhus destroys your weight. Weight loss program, you say? To the implacable da-da-da-da-da. I think it might be the best interest in our realms to arrange a meeting with our heirs Shadow and Pavel to make sure they build a stable and healthy relationship. You follow the old ways. Well, let's give it a go. 
blooming friendship, I should be very careful when planning their encounter. You will not be able to influence the meeting, but we gain 50 renown. We actually gain a lot of renown every month, so I don't feel the need to get 50 lump sum. Before I would. So, you know what? I don't give a damn how it goes. And I'm not fattening myself up. Could have probably got my diplomacy thing if I'd attended, though. But 100 ducats, who has that? Oh, how nice they actually became friends. too far away to interact with. Well, hopefully when you get here, I'll be able to uh, force you to convert. And I've made a good friend. You know, good friends should get to know each other a bit better. Won't you come to my court? Oh, we finally got Banus. I don't know what that is. Banus gives me levy for reinforcement rate plus 15. Who would ever focus on that? Seems like madness. Anyway, I have an important meeting with you over here in my... Oh. My intrigue's not good enough, is it? It's more his personality. I would imagine wrathful or arrogant is keeping him out of there. Mm-hmm. Convert him first. That should actually help quite a bit. Mm, intrigue is still a problem. My wife can help me out a little bit with that. But only a little. That personality is a problem. I don't have a way to get an easy hook on him either. I just have to take the chance, and I will take the chance. On decline, though, at least it's not tyranny. Come on, Luxstat. Ah, but it only makes the unlikely more likely to happen. Off he trots. You recently tried to imprison him. Right, well, let's... He's still our friend, so let's keep an eye on the bugger. Traitor. Hold on, what if I arrange a marriage with him? You could marry my daughter. How do I get him here? Also, is there a is there a thing that says you can't try to imprison people a second time? I believe he'll stay out of your court, says JJ. Mm. Dang, he's running around with all that money as well. Oh, and I didn't uh, didn't put a. Oh, I don't have anything on him. He's just unlanded and hanging out in Burgi. Oh well, what can you do? It's only two grand, at least we've got the six grand. That was the big one. To that extent, let's try to become friend. Oh, I could swear fealty to him. <laughs> That's not happening again. Um, I could also denounce you. My cousin. No, let's, uh, let's get friendly first. Alexandra's very existence is an insult to the name of our glorious dynasty. A withered, twisting branch hanging from a vibrant tree. That's a bastard for you. My cousin is a constant reminder of Wild Goose's infidelity. Hmm, I could try to help her. <laughs> you must prune the tree? No, I will try to make something of you. And I can use my immense power of learning. It was a hard task getting some things through her thick skull, but I managed. She's no longer a complete disappointment. <laughs> she got some learning, not that that did much for us, but there you go. Wait, Jake, as Dynasty you can disinherit? Yeah, I can disinherit the heirs. Uh, where would it be? I, well, not disinherit, because he's not in my realm, but I could denounce him. Uh, he would become denounced, that's a crime, within what is now his religion as well. And he'd hurt and, and all that. But I'm trying to make friends with them, right? I don't want the busies constantly hitting me. And now that they're my faith, and now that we have an alliance, and soon to be my friend, I don't have to worry about finding ways to crush the busies. 
because them being there and being of my uh, my house gives us a whole lot of uh, renown, which is good. Very good, you could even say. Not gonna raid you for captives. Who? What's, what's up with you? Oh my days! I set up so much for you, High Chieftain Costin, and you've fallen apart. And now we have this sorry fellow right here. At least Kiev is holding it together, right? Good. I mean, the temptation is to just go in and clamber for things, but uh, why even? Also, why can't I raid you for captives? I believe there was something here. You cannot conduct or continue raid captives if you have any prisoners obtained through winning a raid or captives in your dungeon. But I'm pretty sure I don't. Hmm. You really do have to form an entire stable kingdom for the AI just to keep them alive. Well, it, they just need to live, right? They don't need to prosper. As long as they live and hold that title, it's extra renown. And it's doing well. Like, we are accelerating so fast with this. Again, cousin. You don't even have lustful. In fact, you're shy and you just keep doing it and doing it. Well, that's why you're a sinner. Not a saint. Uh, there's no way I'm going to be able to do your uh, drift this within my lifetime. 38. I'm going to be dead and buried before it's done. That means it's going to be a bit of a messy... Well, maybe a little bit of a mess on succession. Thing is, even if you weren't... Uh, even if you weren't there, we'd go to somebody else, McCaig. We'd probably go to Portal Storm. Hmm. Alright, away go those mercenaries. I love how Jake stunted the busies by giving them internal religious... Ru yeah, well, it had to be done. I had to stunt them or else they'd keep coming back with those massive armies, but look at that. Constantinople itself is converted and also under siege. Defending... Defending popular... Oh, wow. Oh, what? 45,000 of them. That Orthodox Uprising is going to be a big one when you lose... Rebelling counties and vassals remain part of the realm. Rebel yeah, well, wrong one. They're going to enforce it. They become an independent realm. He gets pretty much everything. Oh, that's going to break the busies. That's going to big break the busies. I can't wait to see that. I wish I could see what's going on. Good. Oh, damn, I allied you, didn't I? Are you going to call me into that stupid war? I get offered to join your war against the... Uh... Wait, they're not my ally. Oh, thank God. Let's spread this power. And strongly consider breaking that betrothal. It is completely on them for declaring war on me. How dare they? Right, Kazari is the next one I want to take on. Oh, but not before I go on a nice pilgrimage. Could make me an even wiser man. Off we go to... Uh, not bar, lad. Over to Plonk. I mean, I could declare war on the Byzantine Empire if I wanted. But I can't holy war them since they are my faith now. Oh, that is beautiful. Found a way to break the busies and all it took was commanding them as house head. Get away unharmed. No, get my sword. If I get wounded, I get wounded. Nope, we are now as Aspiring Blade Master, which I believe reduces your weight a bit. And I'm only happy to have a bit more prowess. Now we're, we're actually half decent at everything. I'm very happy about that. And that learning's going to help us get the Royal Prerogative any moment now. Oh, man, it's, it's good to have things finally go my way. And... Oh, we don't become a mystic. But we do become a religious icon. Good for us. Cancel friendship? No, I still want to be his friend. Right, royal prerogative, finally. Let's stop these brother wars. I also get more levies, more taxes. 
Choose all succession wars. Cannot wage war against other vassals. So these duchies are going to stop fighting each other. The counts under the duchies? Different story. They can still fight unless these guys get their own high, uh, high crown authority. All vassals who refuse title or revocation are considered criminals. That's going to make it more likely that they will agree to me taking it away from them. So definitely passing that law. And if I can make it another 20 years, I definitely want absolute crown authority. I know the opinion hit is massive, but the levies, the taxes, the no wars at all, it's just, mwah, I want it. I'm going to build this up, heavens no, but I'm tempted to build up more, um, more temples. More temples mean more church holding money for me. In fact, you there, why are you not giving me even more money? Oh, that's right. If I want another one, there has to be a city. I mean, that's not too bad a thing. Might as well get to work. And it's Transylvania that I really want to big up here. It's a nice big... Uh, nice big duchy. I don't think I'm going to see a lot out of these cities anytime soon, but... Hmm, I should probably take care of uh, Gyurgyu. It's a great place. So if it has a city and a temple, then all the better. And I'd still rather like this holy site for myself in Barlad. It's held by a very incorrect, inbred individual. Could I actually request a claim on that? Lower rank, vassal... Yeah, but come on, be reasonable. Mm, looks like that's not happening then. I want Barlad for myself pretty much forever. Because getting the uh getting the Grand Temple's so good. Hmm. But is it worth going out of my way for it constantly? I'm not so sure it is. I mean, we get plenty of renown as it is. Although well, we lost a fair bit, so somebody must have been eradicated. Back home from our pilgrimage. Still feeling a bit stressed out. But not to the point where I want to have a hunt. I would like to fish for a stress event. Right, let's get thoughtful. And let's consider going intriguing. Or... Oh. Or, or, or. Yeah, I could do with a bit more intrigue. A bit of intimidation would actually be rather nice. Because then I might get that event where I carve up one of my prisoners again. So let's take that. And I would like to get uh, Truth is Relative to get some perks going on. Now where's that guy that I... He's still under friends, right? There he is. You want to come back to... No. I don't know how recent recent is, but he's still got all that money and I will have him back and he will remember my friendship. <laughs> hey, if Byzantine Empire really falls apart, I can conquer this from whoever it spits off to. That's worth keeping in mind. Am I warding? Yeah, I'm still warding. Good. Oh, what? I didn't actually manage to befriend you. He does not see an opportunity. Well, I mean, he kind of has his hands full, so I, I understand. Well, that means we're going to get back to good old Covening. The house keeps growing, though. Well, we're 11%, so either some people died off or... Uh, Has a witch secret known by you, or has the trait witch? Fair enough. Do I have the trait? No, it's just a secret. Witch the Basilius. Yeah, that's what's going to happen. My massive learning ensures that this goes down well. And it's nice and fast, at least. Okay, time to get witching and witching some more. An alliance. Oh, despite our lack of bonds by blood, this nobody within the realm wants to be my friend. Hell no. 
hundred years for a refusal. That's pretty big, but no way am I going to be your friend. I'm going to get high in the cupboard instead. Try to aim for adults with wards. Two or three for one deal, usually. Mm, possibly. But I do want to deal with you. Besides, then I'd Oh, well, look at that. He is warding. See, already knew what I was doing, JJ. And since we know that our player heir has a witching secret... Can I not just expose these secrets? Seems weird to just... Are they going to hate me for it? I guess we could test it out on Princess Tutti. Exposed my secret. Well, it goes away in time, and at least then we can check it there. Now, question. Does this take effect even if it's not known? Right, I, I need to check that, actually. MTSC2. 3 and 5. Expose, expose. Oh, so it's better to have it exposed. Hey. No secrets around here. Wait, blackmail for a hook? No, it can't be used that way. There we go. So it only makes you better if it's actually known that you're a witch. Fair enough. Well, no secrets around here. I think the goal of this one is to find out if you can beat obesity with typhus. I think Aberdeen had an outbreak of typhus a while back. Or was it typhoid? I don't know. Again, I don't know these kinds of things. Oh boy. The Roman Empire in the East, Byzantium, Christian's firm bulwark against the Mohaban infidels of the Orient is falling. Well, it's failing, rather. The dire situation has convinced His Holiness to accept the possibility of an outright invasion by joint Christian forces. This could be the beginning of an unprecedented Christian aggression. Good, as long as they don't, you know, fight me. But they have no reason to. I don't hold any holy sites. Well, not holy sites to them. Well, we'll see what they do. But I can't imagine they'd go for me. At least I have the money to murk up and beat, uh, beat the Pope's infinite money myself. And it doesn't look so infinite these days. Maybe it got patched, uh, patched down a bit. They don't just go for holy sites. Naive, Jake. Naive. Well, I'd find a way to beat them back. Tootle comes of age. Great. Good little witchy one. Now, I should be educating these children as we go along. Again, I expected so little out of Olwyn's, and yet he's grown into a fine leader of all of Wallachia, stood up to the Byzantine Empire. In fact, you could even say he delivered the killing blow to the Byzantine Empire, not with, uh, not with pikes or horses or mangonels, sorry, onagers, but with a word, single word, obey. You know, I'm doing something terribly wrong. I'm focusing on garbage, haven't I? Battlements. That's not actually all that bad. Fortification buildings look good, but... But... I'd like coinage. I'd love hereditary rule. Get rid of uh, confederate partition. Any hot takes on the best thing to research in early medieval? Love mangonels, but I shouldn't have to siege too much at this point. Armoured horsemen, men-at-arms, mangonels. All these buildings would be nice. Fortification right, feudal contract. Mm. Research ice cream somehow. Can't you make ice cream with sulfur? More men-at-arms is always good. Yeah, but it doesn't really change up anything, right? It just makes you a bit better. Domain limit once again. Ooh, existing development penalty. Right, you know what, let's get some partition so I don't have to have confederate partition. And let's share that witch- oh man, we're dishing out the witchy ways. 
convinced and convinced, and that kind of tells me that I should change my warding out anyway, but... Nah. We'll see it through. The first men at arm research makes you unstoppable if you did your, uh, did your buildings right, says Dark Young. Not convinced I did them right. Don't have a lot of buildings as it is. Not that I have a lot of lands myself anyway. I'm more interested in setting up all these uh, churches. Oh, that's right. That's exactly what I'm doing here. Okay, Basilius. You converted for me, and now you shall convert further. <clears throat> A new novice. Excellent. By the way... Hang on, I could blackmail him for the witch secret? What would I do with a hook on Basilius? Uh, nothing actually, because I can't. Oh, oh. Is not shunned or criminal for trigger. That is an unlocalized line there, Paradox. Uh, what was I thinking though? Here we go. Hooks and secrets. Expose, expose, expose. Let them all be known to everybody. And then we need to keep going. Although the witchy ways are getting there, <laughs> there's still a long way to go. Right, who else? Gotta be house members. And if they're warding, all the better. Whoa, what happened there? Why is that only 5%? He loves me. Zealous. Not going to happen then. That's a shame, but that kind of locks you out. Uh, Tepe, how are you doing? And are you warding? You're not warding. Are you warding? You're double warding. And you are... Oh, you're not part of my house, though. Different house. Very different house. I need to be looking for the Vlads. You're not Vlad. You're not Vlad. Oh, there's going to be so many Vlads to, uh, to find and change. Well, looks like much, uh, or many of the landed ones I've at least managed to nab. Pedantic Mikey, right, you come join me as well. Much better. And to make matters worse, he is war uh, better, rather, he's warding too. Ransom. Somebody is dear to me, let him go for this offer. It's what offer? Go away. Jake, one of the fiercest crusades for what would became the PLC. Hmm? What are you talking about, Benbo? Oh, you're talking about real life crusades against pagans there. Yeah, I see what you mean. Come on, get rid of those Bulgarians, replace them with Greeks so I can suckle those Greek uh, innovations, please. Busy's having a bad time. Minus 60. This is going to be brutal. Yes. We can stop being rivals with our own, uh, our own wife. Oh, wait, no, that wasn't our wife. That was Clara. I mean, maybe it's for the better, but she was such a battle axe. Although I think I pushed her into the uh, horse's drinking trough. But you know, it's just classic hijinks over in Wallachia. You're really boned purple and it's beautiful, says Delaran. I'm feeling great about it. Okay, he came at me wanting my whole bloody kingdom. And I turned around and said, no you. Oh, we're losing devotion because of... Oh, that's right, you'll have yourself a new individual collecting the taxes. It was that same lady, right? Oh, they're going to be harder to spot. But hey, you make good gold. Can I imprison that friend of mine yet? Come on. Not that I want to be making friends right now. I'm busy, uh, busy making witches, which is far more important. But it's good to keep an eye on where my little money bags are out there. 
Oh yeah, but you are zealous and ambitious. I did switch over to intimidation. So I could kill people off if I want to, but there's nobody that I really need dead. We've had an amazing uh, lack of murder for uh, for Olwyn's here. He's just a pretty great guy. Wow, that looks good. Uh, I'd like to recruit you to court. Brave, wrathful, temperate. But you absolutely must convert. Corn uh, Count Cornelius approached me, claiming he has discovered he has offered to provide me with everything he knows, including names and evidence, in exchange for details of another secret. He has discovered what? I receive, after examining the documents I receive from Count, it becomes clear. Okay, but I, at least I learned something here. You have a disputed heritage, but, oh well, you're part of Dynasty Vlad, but who, who cares? Also, uh, yeah, doesn't matter. I think that was just a busted up event there. Just trying to cliffhanger me. So at the end of all that, you could just say, no, they're not ready. Right, bring them all in. Although, I think you get Secret Witch, or... Yeah, well, I don't see a problem with having them learn my secret, and then I just spread it out myself as well. But that Witch Coven, <sighs> we're a quarter of the way there. And it's just a case of finding more and more of the house to deal with. What is the best way to filter out and grab them for this, though? Living members, preferably not the two old ones. Wait, you are, you're in the house, but you're the completely wrong religion. What's up with you? I don't like it. Ooh, because currently right now it's just, it's just doing this with so many people. Oh well, we'll get it done. You're going to want to filter out non-Vlads, as in the cadet branches. Yeah, there is that too. Right, Sihoa, you've grown up fast. Tough soldier, flexible leader. Wait, oh, nice. Marshall. And McCaig is an elusive shadow. It's really nice getting some actual half-decent results from the... Uh, hmm. Half-decent results from these. I'm wondering if I should have them go off and make babies as soon as possible. You're still betrothed there, and there's a chance, there's a real chance we can pop out some kind of uh, amazing thing here. Hail, handsome, and genius. They just need genius and any level of this. And, of course, to be male. Well, hopefully. Hopefully we can get there. Otherwise, not sure what to do with the rest of them. Just keep them around for a rainy day. Kingdom of Davia still bothers me though. Uh, maybe we should find you a, uh, a good woman. As ever, I would like. Not this. Get that away from me. I always want inheritable traits. Good inheritable traits, that is. And you already have Comely, Fasund, and Hale, so all we need is bright minds. Genius, always welcome. But if we can't have genius, I'll certainly have intelligent. <laughs> Brave, forgiving, generous. Twenty-five, but I'll take it. <laughs> Prune the unworthy and the zealous convert the rest. Oh, people that want to pay their way out? You're nothing special, but if you're willing to give me the money, then I'm willing to take it. I'm afraid you can't afford this, though, so no to you. can also demand payments from... You... That's my house head hook, which probably isn't worth giving up that easily, but I'm never going to see that money. No, I'll let you, I'll let you keep that, actually, because you can use that to invest in yourself. 
You're some unlanded, uh, useless individual, so I'm certainly taking your money. Mm. Criminals who can be taken in doesn't seem worth my time, because it will be uh, tyranny to kill them, especially if they're my religion. Okay, trying to think what else I even want to consider right now. No, well, if that's the case, then I'll just see to marrying off our of age. Got a spouse, got a spouse. Unmarried Tootle. And again, if we find somebody with hail, then I want that. I can get you some old man here, but no, I don't want... I don't want alliances out of all this. Look at that. Amazonian biddy something or other. That could get us something real good. Welcome aboard. Can the kids witch guardians? Right, that is actually a half decent thought. I could go around and force kids to learn witchcraft, but it doesn't count kids for this, does it? Surely, when it counts house members, it's not counting kids. At least it would be an investment down the line. Hmm, that's a decent idea. I like it. Yeah, indeed, they will grow up eventually. So that means that we do what exactly? We go to find character, and we want the house Vlad specifically, and we want child. And then we go through them and offer guardianship. Oh, it clears that away. Okay, he's 14 though. I mean, that could be me taking care of you. No biggie. Then there's Janos here. Oh, not so easy that. Perhaps this should be in order of age so we can get all the oldest ones that are still children. Unmarried, do you have somebody educating you? You don't? Okay, well, I'll, I'll take care of you then. A night to forget this party is boring. Shadow has got to be the worst host the world has ever seen. How could mortal man be expected to... Shadow? Eowyn here is giving me a friendly greeting. I do like strong people. You know what, let's, let's get to know Eowyn a bit better. Ah, oh, he actually became my friend, how cute. Right, this seems like a great way to get uh, witches on the cheap. Since they, as we were as we were talking, they do grow up eventually. So this four... Are you really 14? Oh, oh ooh, that's some shape-shifting magic you got there. Um, but again, if I... Hmm, I can't seem to get one for you. Offer guardianship from you, from probably my sister. Just anything to get witches looking over the non-witches. Then there's Gandalf. Again, my sister, because she's a witch, easily enough. Can't do you, can't do you. You don't look 12 to me. There we go, another child to educate. And my son doing that's fine, because I know my son's a witch. Alright, that's good enough for now. I don't want to spend all day doing this. You want to avoid craven guardians. Aim for high I'm not going to spend that much time looking into it. Sounds like a whole lot of pain. I'm just doing, just going to do a shotgun blast at the top there. And then keep working on others. That Coven does look very powerful, though. Hostile scheme and scheme resistance, and a medium boost in health is a lot to get there for everyone in the house. And we could host a grand right activity. I'm keen to know what that's all about. 
Yeah, witching seems powerful, and it's all the more powerful knowing that it's not a crime here. Come on, Byzantine Empire. You have almost lost here. The age of knowing you deserve this power. I'm just making a cult here now. Ah, right. Now I can stop and bury the hatchet with my own wife. There we go. Hmm. Threatened merchant and fecker. Um. Nah, just threaten them. I don't mind. Bit of free dread, honestly. Got a half decent uh, new learning individual here, which I really quite like. Ah, actually, it's probably for the better that the cadet branches pop up, as long as non witches do it. Because that proportionally makes my witch coven be more of the house. Ah, it does say adult house. How did that word not even register with me before? I may never know. Kazaria getting stronger and more allies than before. This isn't good. Allied with white Rus. It's okay, I can take down Kazari at, uh, at my leisure. We certainly have the money to do so, and we're certainly making the money to do so. Don't suppose I have any uh, hooks on these people right now, do I? I was thinking that... Um, oh, known criminal. Do I want your anything? <laughs> well, I'm keeping this from you for now, haven't I? What I could also do is uh, revoke this, since I'm below my domain, uh, domain limit, and make more money directly. Still wondering what to do with this. It's alright, but man, Silistria is good as counties go. No good reason to let that one away. Oh, I'm just waiting for that busy explosion. They're almost there. My niece, pregnant, out of wedlock, ah, they just keep going for it. It's being gregarious for you. Don't know what I'd do with that though, neither of them really mean much to me in prison. And imprisoning you would make uh, all of her family hate me, and that's, that's a big family of people that are close to me, so we'll just let it be, let it be known. I can't believe Jake is depriving these children of a good education out of laziness. Like I'm educating two people, but I don't. I don't want to set up education for all those people, especially uh, setting it up for high learning and such. Seems like a drag. Currently, I can. Oh, right. I was gonna say currently I can just do it with friendship and warding myself. Um, it'll be a bit slower, but a lot less tedious for me in my view. That said, now I need to find other members of the house to uh, to grab. Preferably ones that are not on death's door. So just go and grab them. It's a shame there's only one scheme you can do. I would have thought there'd be a way to do like twice schemed, but for uh, for these things, but I don't see it. Okay, that's something. The Namyold trust through God. Some obscure people have just risen up. They have remained orthodox. But look at that, Byzantine Empire still claws on to what they call an empire. Uh, they're pretty shattered and to make things good for me, this has split off. Now, I don't believe for a second that they're going to hold this together. They're only a kingdom, so the moment this guy dies, the moment this guy dies, it's going to pop like a cheap party balloon. Oh, I can't wait. You gained 18 stress because you're honest. Ooh, if you're honest, you can very quickly uh, grind stress by starting those. 
Oh, it's so good to see the Byzantine Empire crippled, but with Vlad there so that I still get the renown. Uh, we don't have an alliance, but I'm strongly considering... Uh, wait, did, did I... Um, I could have sworn I'd betrothed somebody off to the Byzantine Empire. I mean, evidently not, because I don't have an alliance there, but I thought I had. Good, another cadet branch means another step closer to my witch, Coven. Somebody left that scheme, but it's still looking good. Oh, 58 agents joined! Oh, jeez, it, it, it stalls the game opening that. It's fine by me. Let's make a save just in case uh, that somehow goes Pete Tong. Yeah, I need him to explode, and then I'm going to harvest him up. In fact, I'm thinking of doing a land grab down here when he explodes, just to establish some... duchies, I suppose. Because otherwise the Byzantine Empire will feast on the remains. I'm going to have a lot of people dropping out, but we have so many in there that there is no chance he's going to live. I'm probably not the only one scheming against him, now that I think about it. All when the inept is a save name. Oh, how the... I named that. I named the save that as soon as I could. Pizzerific is of age. Great. That means I can find somebody else to ward. Hmm. Any of my own kids still needing it? Yeah. Oh God, you're so good. You could strengthen the bloodline. I just wish we could play as you, Mr. Modesty, but that would mean a lot of disinheriting and or killing. Hmm, you already have somebody looking over you? Well, get away. I can take care of this one myself. Kaladin could be used to extend my influence over the court. This honesty is hurting. I'll lose my house head hook there. Because of my dread... Yeah, no, this doesn't seem worth it. Just continue to harvest our own dread here instead. It's amazing. I've never had so many people join a murder scheme before. At least I finally kill somebody. I don't think we're going to have a Bulgaria here. I think it's better just to have multiple duchies. Less likely to explode as well, and whilst they might eat each other, as long as a little bit of the duchy remains, it's okay. Problem is, as people leave, I need to make sure it's not, say, the spy master, and that makes it all crumble apart. Third. Oh my god, those leffies, where are they getting all that from? No, really, where. In God's name, are they getting those levies from? All right, my cousin. A bro yeah, wow, we are getting a ton of great, um, great experience things here. Do you want to lose some of the stress? No, I actually want to have a mental break. I can easily lose it. But I want to... what do we have here? Yeah, I want to truth his relative so I can actually get some uh, some fabricated hooks down the line. I think fishing for level 1 stress things are actually good, because they're, as far as I can tell, always one thing where you go, you just take a bit of stress. Um, that is fine by me. But you might be able to get athletic or confider or the other one journaler, and they're all good. Where is Mesembria? Oh, it was around here, wasn't it? Yeah, there we go. Level 6 fort, just try and take it. <laughs> just going on and on and on. Goodbye, my cousin.
With a young mediator, we could have a calm Mr. Modesty. A brave or a zealous? Well, certainly not zealous. I'll go with brave. Brave is good. And get me a bit of stress while we're at it. That's terrifying. I mean, it's all levies, but still, sometimes the meat grinder can win out. Byzantine is always the first to die when I'm strong enough to take them. They'll keep rebuilding, but I take a kingdom. Yeah, well, this was such a kiss of death for them, forcing them to change religion. All right, time to convert. The downside is, though, that that only bumps it up by... Oh, well, no, it actually went up a, a wee bit there. Excellent. And I imagine when these kids come to uh, come to fruition, they'll help out as well. All right, keep on going. There are more people to witch up. Not by child. Let's look for adult. I wish I could search for not witch, so I don't uh, I don't just retread stuff. Hmm. I'm sure we'll get it done regardless, though. Bon appetit! There we go. Had to be done. And wait, what? I thought it would pop. I guess he had one direct heir, but uh, you have many heirs. Many sons, in fact. So when you pop... I mean, I should definitely check what the um, what the succession is, but heir to Pontus, Croatia, and to what's it? Africa, Epirus, Hellas, Serbia, Thela something, Hvosno, Sicily, Crete. Oh, and 14 more titles. Well, Pontus, I'm afraid you've got to go. Health is poor thanks to frozen grief, and you're already a slow individual, but this is good because this will make me get overwhelmed with stress, which I want. Oh my, well, you were already a, a witch. How about that? Let's find somebody else to bewitch. 18 years old. While we're at it, I should be exposing all the ones I have. Witch. Witch. I don't even know what to do with you. You have a bit of money that I could take, but I'm not sure you're even worth the... Yeah. I'll take your money. Actually, that strong hook could come useful down the line if you have the county of Hunyad. Where's Hunyad again? Oh, it's right there. I'm not sure I care. I'll just take your money. They're a witch, they're a witch, they're a witch. And here we go. And this is what I want. We can get a uh, journaler here. This is why I want to fish. Journaler is just straight up good. Learning, stress loss, and on top of that... Uh, wait, aren't we already a journaler? We were already a journaler. Huh. Oh, what a shame. No longer overcome by stress, and let's chill out by having ourselves a hunt. Why did I get jur- Oh, well, I guess journaler was there because I already had it, so I could use it, but I wanted athletic. Athletic's great. And again, it's just fishing, because if you don't see any of the good ones, just take something garbage. Um, not garbage, but... Uh, Take the one that just gives you stress, and then take some de-stressing events, like a hunt or a feast. Let's bring up our prowess while we're at it. You got that option because you already have it, that's why the icon on the left, yeah, I see that. I don't. I was unaware I already had a uh, journaler. There we go. Now barely stressed at all. Oh, oh, whoa! Wow, I didn't think we'd pop that early. 61 whilst stubborn, but out we go. 
All wins. I never thought you'd amount to much, but there you go. You managed a whole lot. And we got a nice young uh, shadow as well. Excellent run by you. Absolutely excellent. Now, about that dynasty head. It is Duke Tepe's for some odd reason, but that will change. Uh, Moldavia split away to King McCaig there, but uh, I want that back immediately. I see no reason to give him any time uh, to hold on to that, because that should be mine. Oh good, a Greek is there. Wow, you, you died fast, but thankfully there's still a Greek. Lover's Pox is probably not that bad, and hopefully he converts that province to Greek. The same shadow that holds boring parties. Uh, unfortunately, that stopped our ability to kill uh, Pontus. Fortunately, we're a mastermind philosopher. That means our learning goes through the roof. Oh man, why'd you take theologian? I want scientific, because we are taking forever with cultural fascination. I shouldn't need diplomacy, I don't need to befriend anytime soon. Our intrigue isn't amazing though. Hmm. Going for learning on the job again seems like a great idea. Don't need medicine focus since we're already a already a witch, and we know it. What's the cost of resetting perks? Oh yeah. A hundred and twenty-five stress. However, that would be a nice way to fish for athletic. So we'll do exactly that. Yeah, these two are rubbish. Uh, that does mean I can't have to dedicate myself to this though. So, what do I want? Learning and development growth? That's a lot of learning and I do like development growth, so I'll take that. We'll take uh, scientific even more development growth and we need to get another one of course and I can burn quite a bit of stress alright away it goes let's fill up our uh, positions here, oh god we need a bit of everything now don't we powerful vassal, I need to go and harvest some dread but if we have good people for jobs, they can have those jobs. Oof. Why, why do I suck so badly at getting good stewards? I think I'll take this powerful vassal instead of anybody that's particularly better, just to keep him sweet for now. Vassal and champion. That's a yes. And of course a good spy master helping you out in the early days of your rule. 26 and angry, I'll take that over. Uh, there we go, keep him uh, keep him in my pocket. Visit the court, find who we can kill. Get that dread. Get some initial piety as well. I'm sure none of these people needed to be around for anything important. There, that just makes the transition so much easier. <laughs> First thing I do after appointing a spy master is give him a nice big signing bonus. Well, it would probably be a big gift for you since you already own a piece of land and it wouldn't do much because my diplomacy isn't that great. Uh, also, my betrothed is only nine years old so she can't help us out with things yet. I won't go on a pilgrimage just yet though. Alright, let's get our stressed out event. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> you gain the trait athletic, you lose stress. You gain a small boost to health, you gain prowess, you gain stress loss. Now if it was say drunkard and irritable, you wouldn't want either and then you just take the duty one. Uh, of course that would stress you out even more, so before you even click that, you would take one of these. The reason it's stressing me out so much is because stress gain from ambitious. Is that all? It feels like a lot of extra stress. Regardless, get my horse, we become athletic. Uh, and while we're at it, let's, I don't know, hold a feast to get rid of the, uh, the last of that and make our vassals like us more. So we're all set up for the rise of King Shadow. Time to make some babies. Maybe, just maybe, 
gob out somebody with genius and, I don't know, hail and comely and we'll be good. But that is a story for a later day. That was incredible, Olwyns. I thought you'd be terrible. Turns out we made a man out of you yet. And you were able to finally put the witches in Wallachia. Right. Uh, I was trying to think of a good pun for shadow here. But all I can remember is my childhood cat. A tabby cat that was also called Shadow. I learnt a lot from that cat. <laughs> I loved him so much, but you would have thought that I wouldn't be so callous from that. But here I am. Okay, there's a lot to do, but we're going to do that later on. In fact, I should warn that I hate moving my strategy segment, but I believe on Saturday the 31st it is Halloween. Now, um, I've only really celebrated Halloween with trick-or-treating once in my life. I thought it was terrible. I don't, I don't think it's very good going around knocking on places asking for candy. But I still did do it once, so at least once in my life I should pay it back. So i got a lot of full-sized candy bars. To give out to anyone that comes knocking, so I don't want to have a stream interrupted with that. So, uh, basically I'm pulling Crusader Kings 3 earlier on on Saturday, it'll be like 10am CET. And it'll run for probably about 6 hours or more, because I am so drawn into this game. It, it might not, it might seem kind of weird, you know, we're not going on endless war rampages around the place, but it's just putting everything in the piece and then tapping over that domino that makes it all come down like a house of cards. You know, it's the reason the Byzantine Empire is reduced to this, and yet we still smoke that hot renown. <sighs> Can't wait to keep it going, but that'll be a sto uh, story for later, so cheers for joining for tonight. And cheerio. Oh god, Dominion's 5 tomorrow. <laughs> I should warn about that as well. <laughs>